morning everyone it's Thursday and a little bit chilly outside let's go pick up our load we have a load that we're picking up in Kenora Ontario in Canada we're bringing it down to Brainerd Minnesota in the United States it's about a six hour drive you guys know this route you know me if you don't I'm trucker Josh hit that subscribe button and get to know me let's go get our load let's hit the road Well, we're all ready to go. Got her, our Christmas present wrapped up right here. Ready to go, nice and even, nice and clean. Well, the tarps aren't exactly as clean as they once were, but I think it's a clean tarp job, if you know what I mean. So they kept this load pretty low, so the air is gonna go right over my truck and just slip right over this load, nice and slippery. Nice and slippery. It's gonna be good. Okay, so we got a rush down there, about a six hour drive south. We don't wanna get unloaded today yet. being put to sleep with my truck being serviced and everything beginning of this week if they have something that they need me to run with this weekend I'll have to accept it and get these wheels moving because I still got bills to pay so I hate missing family get-togethers it's, it's like the worst possible thing Sometimes you just gotta work, right? And you gotta miss these things. I, I hope not. But all right, let's uh, turn on to this blind corner here. This is always fun. So 
traffic's coming around here at like 60 miles an hour and you can't see it until they're right there. See now, there's no traffic coming. So you just gotta do your best, hope for the best, get onto the road, throw your four ways on so that people coming up behind you notice that you're going slow. Oh yeah, there comes somebody. Oh, it's a cop too. He's gonna come past me. <laughs> he just didn't want to wait for the truck. Turned on his lights and sirens just to get past me. He could be on his way to a call. He could be. I mean, if I was a cop and I was like driving down this highway and there's nobody else around, I might turn the siren off too, just so that it's not so annoying in my ears the whole time. But I'd, I'd leave the cherries on though, right? I'd leave the lights on. So I don't know what that was all about. Did he just turn those lights on just to pass me? So are any of you, my followers in the comment section, police officers, do you guys ever do that? If you don't want to wait for a passing lane, do you ever just turn on your, or if you ever want to go through a red light, do you ever just turn on your emergency lights and just go past or go through and then turn them off again? But you really have nowhere to go. You just didn't want to wait. <laughs> no judgment, I don't care. I don't care if you guys do that, as long as you do it safely and you know, I mean, you're the cops. I mean, who are we gonna call? We're we gonna call the cops? <laughs> I always wondered that. You see it in Winnipeg all the time. When I lived in Winnipeg, you'd see that all the time. Cops would come up to a red light, sit there for a second, turn their lights on, drive through the red light, turn their lights back off and just keep going. <laughs> oh well, oh well. I can't say I wouldn't do the same thing if I was a cop, but I'm not a cop, so who knows? already but that's okay just forget about that the fish are calling you we're going through Sioux Narrows Ontario this is a popular stop of mine uh, I'm not gonna stop today though because I am in a bit of a rush we're running down to the wire a little bit gotta make sure I get down to Brainerd I want to get unloaded today
500 meters, turn right on, 2nd Avenue, US 53 and then, turn right into 130 meters. We used to have to go down that bridge underneath there, just to the right, that train rail section. And then they closed that off, now they want us to go around this way. You just gotta follow the signs for commercial vehicles. You can't go through the same port as the regular cars, it's just off to the right. International Falls, Minnesota on the other side. Crossing border, entering Minnesota. This is Ironton, Minnesota. Just down the road from Brainerd. Once I'm empty, uh, I'm just heading back. There's no plans for tomorrow yet, or the weekend. Nothing set in stone anyways. There's a few ideas being floated around, but... We'll be back late tonight, probably around midnight, I'm thinking. We'll see. Depends on how quick I can get unloaded. I don't know if there's going to be a line up there or not. Once we're empty, I think it's about another six hours back, back to home. dealerships in Canada are red. Isn't that weird? Have you ever noticed that? North 
Dakota. I'm going to try to get home tonight. I've decided. We'll see what happens. They might have something for me in the morning. I'll just have to be ready first thing to go and get back in the truck and get out there, you know what I mean? But I should be back around midnight. And I should be home in bed by about 1 a.m. Which is usually about the time Britt and I went to bed anyways. Because after we put Theo to bed, we usually sit up talking for a while. And then we watch some TV, watch some shows or a movie. And it's usually around like 12, 30, 1 o'clock when we finally turn the lights off. So it should work out. Hopefully I can get there before she falls asleep. If not, then I'll just be quiet. And hopefully Chevy doesn't uh, freak out too badly and wake Theo up. I hate to say it, but there's not as much chaos going to be at home. Kilometers. Keep to the right on I-29 North US 81 North. There's not as much chaos going to be there because we have uh, there's one less. It's actually going to feel kind of weird. It's going to be a little quiet. Though Diesel didn't have very much energy towards the end of his life. When I got home, he didn't come running and I didn't get the tippy tappies anymore like he used to do. He used to like tap dance when he was so excited. It's been a little while since he did that. We'll see how I feel. We'll see. I got to fuel up in Grand Forks first. Keep to the right on I-29 North US 81 North. So we'll fuel up and uh, rush home. We'll see uh, see how we feel when we get a little closer. We're here for our cheap juice. And I'm looking forward to the juice getting even cheaper in the States. Very soon. Very, very soon. few months. Of even cheaper fuel. I'm really excited about it. price here today is three dollars a gallon I'm not sure what the conversions are right now for that in liters and Canadian dollars but that's three dollars US a gallon and I'm just gonna quickly fuel and go I'm trying to get home this time next year we should be singing a happy song buying our cheap juice all right so it was 172 gallons 651 liters 517 US dollars 718 Canadian dollars and that got us 1100 and well actually I can't say how far because the last fill up uh, we only filled one tank up at Canada yesterday so anyways let's get going I want to go home ah, of course right when I want to start rolling that's when this guy wants to start rolling too come on bud Giver! Are you just gonna park in front of me and block me? I see, I see. You're just parking. I'll forgive you. He's parking for the night, I'm going home. to the Canadian border here and I've got 14 minutes left on my US hours of service once I get over the line just up there I'll have an extra two hours Slide right on Lord Selkirk Highway Highway 29 and then keep to the left at 1.4 kilometers I just barely made it back Well, it looks like all of the leaks that I had repaired are indeed fixed. A nice little test run. We did about 700 miles or so on this. A little more 800 miles from here, Kenora, Brainerd, back home. And uh, we had just enough hours to get back here. So the time is now 12.30, 12.25. I've got everything in the pickup already. 
Old Blue's all ready. Maybe they'll have something for me tomorrow. Maybe they'll have something for me on the weekend. Maybe it'll be Monday. I don't know. But we'll need to get these wheels turning as soon as we can. So we'll, we're uh, making ourselves available for whatever they have. But for now, I'm going home. I'm going to sleep in my own bed. Thank <laughs> you.